Hello, N4HNH here, and I've got an unboxing video to uh, to show you. So uh, we're going to take a look and see what is in this box. And, uh... All righty. So let's take a look. Look at that, a ladder lock. Let me pan that up a little bit so you can see. A ladder lock. That is a great uh, center insulator for any antenna that is fed with window line. I use that on my uh, doublet as well. Just last and last and last. But what you're looking at here is the antenna that I've been talking about on the channel here for a long, long time. Um, the ZS6 BKW and this one is from NI4L.com Chris Fox he builds these uh, one at a time in North Carolina built to order measured out perfectly um, the SWR is just magnificent you can use it on the FM portion of 10 meters all of 12 17 20 and 40 meters without a tuner and uh, then on other bands with a tuner. Well, you guys have heard me talk about my friend Joel. Joel needed an antenna that was very stealthy because he lives in a neighborhood that's got antenna restrictions. And so uh, I went looking around for stealthy antennas and this stuff here kind of hides in the background. And then that, um, you know, hangs in the middle. And I was joking around with Joel and I said, well, if anybody, any of the neighbors happen to notice this, you can just tell them it's a religious symbol and, uh, you know, uh, don't violate your religious rights. Let me show you the feed point. There we go. So this is the feed point. Um, Chris has made some improvements over the years to this. Uh, it's waterproofed here and uh, you just screw your coax on there. Now it does require 70 feet of coax because uh, that's actually what helps complete the matching system on this antenna. If you're not familiar with the history of this antenna, uh, ZS6 Bravo Kilo Whiskey was um, the call sign that Brian Austin once used. He has since changed uh, the call sign, but he computer modeled a G5RV to f determine if he could perhaps improve on it because you know, there's a lot of misconceptions out there about G5RVs. I love it when somebody picks on them and, and, you know, I talk to them and they tell me how great I sound, how strong my signal is, and then they ask me what I'm using. And I'm really using a modified G5RV. Uh, as a matter of fact, I did use a real G5RV for many years, and it was my best 40-meter antenna. This one's my best 40-meter antenna. Also quite good on 17 and 20. What Brian Austin did was he computer modeled that G5RV and to experiment if perhaps different lengths of the window line here. Now, some people have made G5RVs using TV twin lead. Uh, that I've had one like that. It's not very robust. This is much better. When you erect it, you're going to notice a little bit of a twist in the um, window line. Don't try to straighten that out because that's what helps it not get caught in the wind. The wind will just kind of flow around it. But but anyway, back to the story. So um, G5 RV, Lewis Varney, never intended his antenna to be used like, like it's been used over the years. And it's been modified and modified in how it was built, but the, but the uh, dimensions remained pretty much the same. So, uh, you know, with a 102 foot span across fed in the middle, and then, uh, you know, so 50, 51 feet per side. And then you had around 31 feet of the ladder line coming down and to, to the feed point. Now, in that case, also, the antenna required a minimum of 70 to 75 feet of coax to feed it. And that's not changed. This antenna will need to, be, to have, uh, well, as a matter of fact, Chris Fox recommends 70 feet. Uh, I know that my old G5 RV that I had years ago, I built, um, the recommendation was 75 feet. But anyway, um, you, you know, you want to do that. Otherwise, you're not going to be happy with the performance of the antenna. And for that matter, for me, I've got mine up at about 50 feet now. I started out at about th mm, right at 40. 
I was barely able to get the, um, the this uh, feed point off the ground. This is about 39 feet and some inches, this window line. So you want this up off the ground. So you do have to get this, you know, I recommend 45 feet if you can off the ground at the center point. Now you can make it a, an inverted V. So the, you know, get the ends maybe 10 feet off the ground at least to keep from someone touching the ends. Remember from my, uh, my basic antenna theory video, we talked about how the ends of your antenna are the high voltage and that can hurt someone. Uh, so, you know, if you're going to do an inverted V with this, get it up, um, you know, 10, 10 feet off the ground, at least on the ends, and then try to get it at 45 feet in the middle, at least, uh, because you don't want this window line touching the ground. Uh, so, because again, it is actually part of the antenna, but it's really, truly magical because what happened was Brian Austin's computer modeling found out that instead of uh, 51 feet per side of the of the center point 47 feet per side and in a few inches and then he found out that instead of 31 feet of the window line 39 and some change here a little bit uh, you know Chris Chris actually started with those numbers and experimented to get it perfect I mean this thing is just fabulous on SWR you won't have to do anything unless you want to work maybe the extreme edges of the band for example on 40 meters you know it's still not a terrible swr it, does, it doesn't even rise above two but i still might use the tuner if i'm low on 40 meters just to touch it up a bit but in the uh, in the sideband portions of the bands it is very very optimum okay i've got the zs6 bkw out of the box and spread out here so you can see the center insulator the ladder lock that's ladder dash loc the left and right elements and that is uh 47 feet ish each side so if you think about 94 feet of width and you can have this antenna up as a flat top again uh like you want to get the center insulator up at least 40 feet preferably 45 because you've got approximately almost 40 feet of that uh window line there and that is 420 ohm window line, by the way, not 450. It, I know it looks like 450, but it is 420. And that's part of the matching network, so it needs to be made that way. And, you know, I've priced it out to try to build this myself. And by the time you buy, buy the quality of components that Chris Fox is using uh, in I4L, it just doesn't make sense to try to do this on your own. I mean, look at that center insulator, how he's got the... Uh, supports there and the, uh, the the strain relief and see there's no stress at all on that ladder line because it's inside the of that uh, ladder lock uh, I'm gonna in fact let me show you uh, what that looks like inside bear with me a second okay there you can see the inside of the ladder lock it's got a couple of uh, rectangular um, protrusions there so that the um, open portion of the window line can snap down in there and uh, those wing nuts are nylon I just pulled them off you see them laying there on the right what I recommend everyone to do um, if you get one of these antennas and you uh, well if you use a ladder lock period for any antenna is after you put the cover on and tighten the wing nuts um, put some a bead of silicone around it you know just smear it with your finger enough to stop the little um, you know any moisture from getting in there that's what i did to mine uh just a little bit of clear silicone and uh, let let it go around the cracks where that top piece joins the bottom piece this antenna's you know waterproof i mean look what chris has done here to the ladder line going up to the feed point where you where you hook your coax up and remember minimum 70 feet of coax RG8X will work. I, I use it myself, but it is a little better if you go with something like RG8 or even better LMR400 if you really want to stack the deck in your favor, but you need at least 70 feet of it. So there it is, the ZS6 Bravo Kilo Whiskey, ZS6 BKW that you've heard me talk about a lot on the channel. Uh, this one built by Chris Fox NI4L. They're available at NI4L.com. But one of my Patreons is going to get this one. Yes, those of you who support the channel and have supported the channel for a long, long time, 
uh, you're going to be in a drawing. I'm going to draw names from the list of Patreon supporters and you will win this antenna. Now, if you happen to win and truly don't need it, uh, you know, and, and don't want it, just let me know and I will draw and, uh, and award it to someone else. So while I'm mentioning Patreon supporters of the channel, um, I'm, I'm so happy to give this away because you guys um, have made this possible. I wouldn't, I would not be able to justify the time um, away from family to run this channel um, if it weren't for you. So I want to mention everybody. I won't mention your last name, but I'm going to mention you uh, by your uh, your first name. That way, I, I won't be giving out anything private that maybe somebody could look you up with. But, you know, I just want to acknowledge you guys for helping uh, keep this uh, channel going. If you've been on the channel a while, you know there is a literal plethora of videos related. Mostly, I focus on operating the radios and um, various band conditions and situations with, you know, dealing with noise and other types of interference. But, um, you know, I do venture out and cover other subjects from time to time. And so uh, there's a lot of content up there in, on the channel. And so, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a time commitment. So if it, were, if it weren't for the Patreons, I would not continue to do this. Uh, there's just not enough money from the advertising uh, with uh, um, the YouTube uh, folks to justify it, really not. So if it weren't for you Patreons, I would quit. So let me read the names of my Patreon supporters. There's Marty, Donald, Doug Douglas, I know him as Doug, Todd, Jeff, um, M. Osman, I don't know what the M stands for, um, there's Jonathan, John, another John, David, Jim, Roger, William, Andrew, Stephen, Stacy, Rusan, I believe, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, Alex, Harold, another William, Scott, Daniel, Dennis. And um, then we got uh, Andrew, another Andrew, Lane, Oscar, Mark, another Mark, uh, Gerald, Ralph, Chuck, and Brent. So uh, those are my current Patreon supporters, and without them, I would not do this. I wouldn't be able to justify it to my family to, to be away from them. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm shooting about one video a week now. I loaded up in the early days a ton of videos that should suffice for quite a while um, regarding content for specifically for mostly for radios and operating practices. So, um, you know, there are, wow, over 50 for the FTDX 10 alone. And I think maybe over 150 for the FTDX 5000. So, uh, but I included a few other radios in there, and I was able to review um, a loner uh, 7300 and a loner 991A. You know, if the channel grows enough that the manufacturers will send me radios to review, I'll do it. But I can only really, you know, um, work with what I have. So uh, you guys, you Patreons, have helped me justify at least being able to do that. So I do appreciate that. And uh, so... I wanted you to know that ZS6 BKW you're looking at right there will become uh, the property of one of you Patreons. Uh, thanks so much for supporting the channel. And if anyone would like to become a Patreon, uh, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. Patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. Uh, the drawings are going to be held sometime in the future. I don't know exactly when. I'm not going to say exactly when. Um, we'll, we'll see if anyone else wants to become a Patreon and get involved. You do have to be a paid Patreon. Uh, they, they bill at the first of every month. So, um, you know, you'll want to get in there before the billing cycle. You can join at five, 10 or $20 a month. I'll hold the drawing at some point in the future, in the coming months. And one of you will be the recipient of one of this particular antenna. And if you want to order one between now and then, you know, ni4l.com. Chris will make one up for you, and um, if you happen to win, well, uh, you'll have two. You, you'll have a backup, or you can install both of them flat top and perpendicular to one another, and uh, you'll have good good directivity 
uh, north, south, east, west, uh, if you want to think of it that way. So again, I appreciate you watching the video, and I hope you, uh, one of you Patreons is the winner, or one of the future Patreons, if you decide to jump, jump on board and help me uh, support the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps the channel out as well and doesn't cost you anything. And uh, until next time, this is N4H&H saying 73.